been a while since I've done a switch tips video. Rather disappointingly, I went to go and get my switch out of its dock the other day and noticed that I have the uh, have a crack on the back cover by the power button. I look after my switch really well. I was almost certain. I I mean, I know I hadn't locked it. Uh, so I had a look online and lo and behold, it's a known fault. Um, people have been getting cracks near the power button. And rather frustratingly for me, I had switch on launch day, so it's just out of warranty. Bring up Nintendo, they advised that, yeah, they'll have a look at it, but because it's out of warranty, they're not going to do anything about it unless I pay. Even though I explain that it's a known fault, that I could point them to numerous forums where people have the same problem. They didn't want to know. So instead, I've bought, uh, I've managed to find online a, where have I put it, um, a back cover including the screwdriver set I think and delivery was about 14 quid so I thought a uh, good excuse for a switch tips video so if you need to know how to replace your back cover like I do let's do it together so here is the uh, the lovely crack just by my thumb I don't know if my camera don't want to focus on that right here uh, in fact, well, as soon as I'm going to repair it, I can even show you that a little bit of this plastic can actually pull out. It's cracked that bad. Uh, there we go. So now you can see I have. A lovely little hole on there. Just great. Uh, right, so put that down carefully. I will leave a link where uh, to this. So we've got the tool set, the three-pointed screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and some tweezers. Um, and this is the case. Now they list it as an they lift the they list it as an OEM product. It's not, um, but what they claim is that it's the same quality. So um, that's the back plate. Now, if you look online, you can find some clear ones. You can find different ones, but I just wanted mine to look like the original switch. I like my switch as it is. It doesn't feel quite the same quality but then that may be because it's not currently on the back here so without further ado let's uh, let's get this back cover off and and the new cover on um, one thing I will say before we start make sure uh, you're gonna need to take your kickstand off just with a snap um, and oh, obviously make sure your console is switched off would be a good start and I mean proper off uh, where we go down to power options and power off I would also recommend removing the SD card And and the game cartridge and the game cartridge if you have one in there. What have I been playing? Mario Odyssey. Right, let's do this.
was a lot more in depth than I was anticipating. I didn't know there was going to be having to remove little brackets and the little game card cover. Um, I will recommend the cover. I'll, I'll put a link to where I got it from. Um, it's it's not bad. As you saw, there was a little bit of work there. The foam pads that I removed, I don't know if it was necessary. Um, but I'm one of those people that, if I know they were there, they were meant to be there for a reason, so that's why I took them off. It wasn't the easiest to get them off, and as you probably saw, I slightly tore one. Um, so it was a little bit finicky. There was a little bit more to do than I would have liked. I was pretty sure it was going to be a case of unscrew one cover, take it off, put the new one on, but maybe not. The case, the, the cover itself seems absolutely fine. I will say it feels maybe just ever so slightly flimsier than the original. Um, however, it's got a slightly more matte feel on the back of it, which I quite like. Your fingers don't slip across the back quite as easy. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped you. Um, if you've got any questions or any comments, feel free to put them below. And if you want more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and why not subscribe whilst you're at it. Cheers guys. Bye.